Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. In this video, we'll discuss about Microsoft MCSS certification. I am a technical trainer in CMS Computer Institute. CMS Institute is an official training partner of Microsoft and we are also training partners of Red Hat. So we offer Red Hat RSC range of training courses and um, we also offer uh, the networking courses focused on Cisco networking and um, in addition to that um, the courses in the area of virtualization cloud computing so if you are interested in any of these these courses you can always reach us at the, at the number mentioned here now we'll get to what is MCSA MCSA stands for Microsoft Certified Solution Associate so this is really a certification offered by Microsoft to validate your knowledge in the area of Microsoft products now this is a uh, objective type computer based certification that you can take in any of the Pearson VUE exam centers. Now typically who should take this exam? Uh, this exam um, will be valuable for fresh graduates who are looking to pursue their career in IT infrastructure. You don't have to be an um, engineering graduate or a graduate with um, computer science or electronics degree. Any graduate who are interested to pursue a career in IT industry, a certification like MCSA can give you a head start and you might, um, it, it might help you to enter into IT industry. Now, um, what if, if you are already working as an, as in IT industry? So if, if you are in, if you're a desktop in support engineer and you want to transition to the next role in the area of ser server admin, this, this certification is going to help you a lot. Um, similarly, if you are um, already working as a server admin and is an experienced professional but you want to validate your knowledge, maybe you have a lot of hands-on experience along with that you want to validate that you have the overall concept of, of um, the Microsoft solution, this is again a very good certification. So, um, so this is um, a, a something that came up recently in a recent study. As you see, the study shows that 66% of the employers value certification and experience more than a formal degree. So this is another reason why you should really um, uh, pursue a vendor certification like Microsoft MCSA. Now I will also show you a little bit about job opportunities uh, that um, that you might get from um, from a certification like like Microsoft MCSA. So Nokri is one of the most popular um, job search port portal in India. So um, let's look at uh, um, the job opportunities available for Microsoft um, system administrators, right? So let me search for uh, Windows system administrator. This is one of the job role. So let's search and look at what type of job opportunities are available. So you see there are 2,718 job opportunities active at this moment for, uh, for um, Windows administrators. So um, you know anyone looking to hire Windows administrator, um, they will certainly value the Microsoft MCS certification. Let's look at what is the requirement for this, this job role. Right. So that's a pay range and anyone uh, freshers can start it and typically you'll see that basic knowledge of hardware and networking is what is expected. Um, this is a this is a role for um, Windows uh, system admin. So certainly a, a certification like MCSA is going to help you to secure a job um, like this. Similarly, let's look at this is another um, Windows admin job and um, yeah, so these are some of the knowledge that you need is Active Directory, Windows Server 2008. Um, these are some examples, right? Now let's look at, you know, um, a, a slightly differently, right? how much a Windows administrator is paid, right? So if you look at, um, this is a website called Payscale. Uh, Payscale does various studies with salary ranges for um, various kind of job roles. So um, let me do a search for system administrators um, okay system administrators for windows right windows okay uh, sorry this just did a system administrators let me do that again windows server 
So if I do a search for this role, you'll see that in India, for Windows Server administrators, job range salary ranges can vary anywhere between one lakh forty-four, one lakh forty-eight thousand to seven lakh seventeen thousand. So that's a, that's a wide variation, but of course it shows that you can be paid pretty well um, depending on your experience and qualification. Similarly, I you know I'm, I I did a search for U.S. and it also shows that in U.S. Windows uh, Server administrators can be paid anywhere between uh, forty-one thousand U.S. dollars to eighty-eight thousand U.S. dollars. So, so really, this shows that a a, a certificate, a, a career in um, uh, the Windows Server admin could be a pretty good, interesting career to pursue. So now, let's look at a little bit more about a um, uh, little bit more about MCSA and and how it is structured and what do you need to do to pass MCSA certification. So MCSA certification for Windows Server two thousand twelve. Um, consists of three exams. So the first one is called Installing and Configuring Windows Server 2012 and exam code is 7410. In India, if you have to take this exam, um, the exam fee is around 4500. Okay. Similarly, um, after you pass this certification, you have two more certifications to pass. Second one is called Administering Windows Server 2012 and the third one is um, uh, Configuring Advanced Windows Server. So these courses together will cover a lot of important topics and um, it will give you a holistic knowledge for managing and um, deploying and configuring uh, Windows servers for a typical enterprise uh, environment. So let's look at a little bit more details about what does each of these exam covers. So let's look at the first exam. Uh, so in first exam, the first topic is deploying and managing Windows Server 2012. So in this topic, um, you will learn uh, how to install a Windows Server, um, what are the licensing models, what are the different editions, um, and what are the different versions of Windows Server 2012. So basically, what are the different roles and, and, and uh, um, features, the major features in Windows Server 2012. So this will also cover um, things around um, the on-premises server versus the cloud servers and virtualization, advantage, disadvantage, and a little bit of all that, right? So then it moves on to a very, very important topic called Active Directory Domain Services. So Active Directory is almost, you know, is one of the core features for um, any, any enterprise uh, environment. So basically, this is a framework where all your um, uh, kind of authentication works and you can log in in any computer you like but you get uh, the, exactly the same profile and privileges all of these are done through Active Directory. The next is um, today's uh, environment IP um, is one of the crucial um, kind of a protocol for networking so um, there are um, a number of protocols for um, uh, networking infrastructure so it will we'll start with IP version 4 then uh, DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, which can be used to um, uh, to configure, to allocate IP addresses automatically to the workstations. Then DNS, DNS is a very, very crucial infrastructure today. Um, and then implementing local storage. This talks about um, uh, different kind of um, file systems and how do you allocate, um, how do you assign hard disks and many of those. Then file and print services. Um, file and print services are, are absolute crucial components of any um, uh, IT infrastructure in an, in an enterprise environment. So basically, you have uh, all information that you store in computer are typically stored in a in a file, right? And printing is a a basic feature. Without that, basically, you know, uh, hardly uh, any enterprise can work. So um, so this 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 will cover how do you deploy file and print services and best practices around it. And then group policy. Um, group policy is a is a is a is an extremely important feature that came back that made Microsoft as a um, kind of a single most um, yeah. deployed um, uh, the the operating system in in a uh, enterprise environment. So using group policy you can do um, yeah, things like um, what kind of access every user will have. This is a very, very crucial feature for security. You can define which user can do what, what computer can do, what kind of things. You can also do a lot of automation using uh, group policy. 
Then at the end, um, in this um, in this training, we'll also cover virtualization. So it's going to be at basic level, but it'll, it's going to give you a high level overview of Hyper-V and how do you install um, the Hyper-V and the create guest operating system on Hyper-V. So pretty pretty detailed stuff. Quite a bit of things to be covered on this on this subject on this paper and then next we'll move to look at um, the subsequent paper which is administering windows server 2012 right so in ad, in windows server 20 administering windows server 2012 the, the first topic that we cover is called deployment service windows deployment service so in windows deployment service um, you learn um, how to automate deployment of Windows um, operating system. So basically, if you have thousands of uh, computers in your in your um, enterprise, uh, if you use Windows deployment service, um, you can uh, build a standard build and then um, use the exactly same standard builds in hundreds of computers with minimum effort, and you can automate many of those. So now administrators don't have to go to each and every machine and then put a CD on the drive and install it and select so many different options in the installation process. So this really makes um, the the deployment of Windows operating system on on a large scale enterprise environment very very simple. And then um, again we, we touch base on DNS, but this is going to be a lot more advanced. And then similarly the Active Directory group policy this is repeated with a lot more in details and in depth right uh, the next comes is this is a very very interesting um, security feature again uh, installing and configuring and troubleshooting a network policy server so network policy server can be used to offer radius kind of services if you have um, a different multi vendor environment and if you have a router and you want to log into a router or you want to have users who will remote access into your environment so you can use an um, NPS radius services to uh, to have a common authentication okay so similarly network access protection is a um, is a is a feature is a role that can offer granular access control right if you if you want to have a control which kind of computers will get access and you want to make sure that the computer runs um, maintains the specific kind of a um, yeah, specific kind of feature before you will allow it to be um, to be added to domain so um, you can do all that using NPS um, uh, services Next is um, implementing remote access. Um, remote access is now obviously a very, very crucial part of um, most of the uh, enterprises. Uh, now, if you are a senior executive in a company and um, you are traveling and if you don't have access to the crucial business information, um, you, um, you're, um, you are not fully productive. So, so Windows um, a NPS uh, remote access services is, uh, um, is also be covered in here. here. Right, and then implementing um, Windows Update Management. Uh, so um, you know that um, these days um, every software has um, vulnerabilities, and if you have a security vulnerability on your product, that can um, cause um, you know, the viruses, that can cause worms, and then you it also the hackers can also exploit those vulnerabilities to get access to your network. So it's it's imperative that you need to keep all your systems patched to the latest security level right so if you are a really really large enterprise managing your patching and and updates could be a very very time consuming affair right so this windows update um service help you to do it systematically in a structured way so that the the impact on your organization is minimized right um then uh the third um, yeah, paper will cover advanced Windows services. Once again, I think in this um, we start with DCP, DNS, and IPAM. IPAM is a is a new feature in uh, Windows Server 2012 that covers um, IP address management in a holistic way in an organization. Right. The next. Um, there are a number of advanced file services like iSCSI, branch cache. Um, uh, we'll not get into details for um, okay dynamic access control. <coughs> then Active Directory, implementing the Active Directory in a very, very distributed, large-scale environment. Certificate cer service, certificate service is another very, very crucial component. Um, and then rights management service, federation service, network load balancing, failure cluster, 
and fail over cluster with Hyper-V. So you'll see that there are so many different topics that are covered in MCSA. So if you really cover MCSA in um, detail, um, you'll have quite a good understanding of overall Microsoft solutions, right? So um, obviously you understand that, um, yeah, that if you're able to do MCSA and pass this certification, your value in the market is going to um, increase many fold, right? Um, now very quickly about us, uh, so CMS Institute is part of um, CMS Infosystems Private Limited. Uh, so CMS Infosystem was a company that was established way back in 1976. So it's been almost 39 years um, uh, that um, uh, CMS Infosystem has been serving um, the, uh, the, the enterprises in India. So we are part of CMS, uh, the training division of CMS Infosystem. So a little bit statistics about uh, CMS Institute as of today. Uh, so at this time, we have 4,000 plus students enrolled in various courses. There are um, 100 plus trainers, 50 centers, and we are also an ISO certified training institute. And um, as we said earlier, we are a Microsoft and Red Hat training partner. We are a Pearson VUE, um, uh, the, the testing center. Um, so um, hopefully this gives you a, a perspective about MCSA and if you want to pursue this career, um, you want to, if you want to pursue this, this, this course or this certification, um, please feel free to uh, contact us. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Hopefully um, you have uh, enjoyed this video and um, this is added uh, to, um, it has helped you understand a little bit more about uh, the, the MCSA certification. Thank you.